hi in this video i'm going to share with you how to make this simple subscribe button and notification bell so stay tuned to see how i make it all you need is a canva app and your editing app so i'm just gonna go and open my canva app on my phone and on the right hand side you can see the plus there click on that and then here you have all the choices that you can choose from but i'm just going to customize my own size so click on the customize size and then i'm going to um, use 1000 by 250 pixel so once that is done, click on create new design. And here you have inbuilt templates that you can use as well, but I'm gonna go ahead and just do it on a plain white background. And at the bottom here, you have all that you need from your camera um, to upload to text and all that. So I'm going to click on a text. And then I'm going to add a heading. So when that pops here, I'm going to now edit and write subscribe. I want it in capital letter. You can do it in small letter or as you wish. And then I'm going to change the color of the subscribe to red. You can change it to any color that you want, but I prefer red. So I'm going to use red. Once that is changed, I'm now going to go ahead and also change the font of the word. So you can choose any font that you want, but you want to make sure it's bold and visible. And I have a um, the one that I'm using here is Open Sense. You can use any one that you want by typing in board in the search area and then choosing from the free versions that pop up. If you have a pro version, that's fine. Then you can use whichever at all you want. And then for the font size, I want it at 65. So I'm just changing that to 65. You can choose whichever font size you want. The next thing I'm moving to is the format. I um, I want my subscribe to be on the right and the YouTube icon to be on the left, but that isn't really um, great on the phone. Even if I press on the left, um, format here is not going to go onto the left it's just going to stay there so you have to kind of move it manually by grabbing the cross sign there and then just shifting it to the right so i have a space on the left to put my youtube icon and i'm going to make sure it's really positioned in the middle And that is perfect right there and the next thing I'm going to look at is the spacing I'm not too keen on the line spacing so I'm just looking at the letter spacing and I'm going to make sure that it is about minus 23 or so well so it's a plus 23 and I'm just going to leave it there so you can change it as you can see you can just change the spacing the way you want it closer wider or however you want it after that I'm going to look at effects I'm not going to use any effects I'm just showing you so you can use any of the effects from here but I'm just going to leave it simple 
and then I'm moving to animation I want it to be bold so I'm choosing the block you have so many animations there that I can choose from I am choosing the block and now uh, I went back to my um, to element and I'm going to search for YouTube And here all the icons popped up you have the free version again and the pro version I'm just going to go ahead and choose one free version from the top so I'm going to choose the red one there and I'm going to minimize that a little bit this is perfect but I'm going to minimize it a little bit just to um, fit in there I don't want it to be yes so this is what I want it to be all you need is to just again grab on it and then um, the corners with the bubbles zoom it in to uh, minimize it and then um, I, I have placed it close to the word subscribe and as you can see it's perfect and for the timing I wanted to use two seconds but that was too short and it wasn't giving me the effect that I wanted to see so um, I'm sticking by three seconds and that is just perfect so um, at three seconds I'm going to duplicate the page to make it six seconds to give me the perfect animation that I am after And this is how it looks like let me replay that perfect so I'm now going to go and duplicate the page by clicking that one on the right at the bottom there I don't know uh, how to say but that is where you can go and duplicate your page so um, yeah I've now added another page of the same thing You need to make sure that everything is as the same as the first subscribe so by checking the font and you know everything else and now I'm going to create going to the right hand side going to the page adding another page I'm now going to create my notification and to always add a text always go on to that plus sign there on the left to and that will take you to where the elements are where the uh, images are or anything that we've uploaded onto the app so i'm just writing notification and i'm going to make sure this is in sense as well open sense as well and it's three seconds and also 65 the font I want it to be 65 as well so I'm basically just going through all that I have done for my subscribe making sure it's on the right hand side making sure I have enough space to put my bell icon making sure um, the spacing is okay for me And now I'm checking the font to make sure it's bold just as I wanted it to be. And again, you can change the color of the notification, but I'm going to keep it black. You can change it to any color you can change it to blue green yellow all right so black is okay for me I'm checking the spacing 23 and then I will be duplicating this page as well to give me six seconds so in total is going to be 12 seconds I'm 
great and now I am just going back to my plot sign I'm going to go to element and searching for bell all right so here you've got beautiful bells here both pro and free i am going to choose one free version i'm using the free version of canva i don't think it's necessary to use a pro version because you can still use the free version for whatever you want to do so i'm going to minimize that a little bit by zooming in the corners and placing it close to my notifications all right and then i'm going to go back to element and search for stickers and lines to i'm looking for something that to make the bell look as if it's ringing i've got something here that i have used before but just for the purpose of this video i am going to search for it so search for that and then you can choose from any of these um, lines but these are not the one that I am after so I'm gonna scroll down and this is the one I want just right there on the right so I'm using that one I'm going to minimize it and then I'm just going to duplicate it and flip it horizontally so I can add it to the other end as well has been duplicated I'm now going to flip it so you want it to be horizontal to the one on the left and I'm going to place it there as well and there you go you have your ringing bell and you have your notifications and you have your Three seconds you have your block animation now I'm going to duplicate the page so I'll duplicate that and check to make sure everything is the same as the first one So you can see it's not block and I've now just changed it to block. The color I want black so that is fine. I don't want any effect. And my font size is also the same. So now I'm going to play all of them together. And look at that that's just the perfect animation that I am looking for in this video so um, it's just as simple as that it's straightforward using your phone is even more easier doing it on the laptop and you just save that as an mp3 video all right mp4 mp4 pardon me mp4 video and then i'm going to go to my in short this is what i am using to edit my video so i'm going to in short choose any video that you want and then just go through the video and on the in short app there is this pip picture and picture in other apps you don't really have to do it this way in other apps you can just go to the the blue or green screen and choose your um, animated subscribe button that way but on in short you have to add a picture in picture so I'm just adding what I've just saved on my phone and then I'm going to position that to wherever I want it to be and then I'm going to scroll over to something called chroma this will make the background the white background invisible for me ok 
okay so when you go onto the chroma and you click on that square thing it brings you the circle there to enable you to um, get rid of the background and when you click on it again it also enables it to the circle to disappear wherever you position the circle that is where you are cleaning or erasing so for instance if you place it on the youtube icon it's going to take the color red away and leave you with white background on the icon so you want to make sure you position it on the white background that you're trying to get rid of and then just click on it and that will get rid of the background for you and also you need to make sure um, because this is red I don't really have to use the strength the strength doesn't have to be hundred percent but if it was like a white a white font or if the color was white or black there you go as you can see the color is black and without using the shadow is not going to appear so you need to make sure you go back to chroma and make sure the shadow is 100% as well if you are using a font that is black so you want to make sure the shadow is 100% or maybe 50% or so and that will bring your notification notification out but if it is any other color like red or blue or green you don't need a shadow it's just going to show up immediately as you clear the background so i'm now going to show you um on another subscribe button that i created on this subscribe button i use the normal thumbnail template and it's exact same thing just that the notification is in yellow color and i'm placing that just where i want it to be you want to position that on a clear background that is quite visible and I'm using the strength 100% and the shadow 100% but I do not need to use this because um, the letters or the words are already in red and yellow and therefore I do not need the shadow at all but I do need a little bit of the strength just to bring the colors out or the words out. If you want to change the position of your subscribe button by moving it to the right or the left or the sides, you know, you can go to something called Keyframe on um, your app, your InShot app or in your InShot app and then click on the Keyframe and change the position of where you want your subscribe button to be and that will change its position, it will transition or give you a nice animation just like I am showing you here so I kind of inserted the keyframe where I want it to be and then change the position of my subscribe button so you can change where you want it to end by moving it to that direction I'm just adding another one and moving it back to the bottom because that's where I want it to end at so it's going to move up and then move back down see that very beautiful and it's easy to make on your phone I made this just by using my Canva app and using my InShot app but you can do this on any app at all that you use to make your subscribe button thank you so much for watching and stay tuned to my next video